Hello students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2007 exam. It's for two marks. They are saying, suppose only one multiplexer and one inverter are allowed to be used to implement any Boolean function of n variables. That means you can use one mux and one not gate to implement any Boolean function of n variables. This is the only hardware that you are allowed to use. What is the minimum size of multiplexer needed? Okay. These are the four options that they have given. Now you very well know to implement a function of n boolean variables, you need two raised to the power n is to one multiplexer. Okay. That means answer could have been option A if you have to use only a multiplexer. But we also have an inverter. That means size of this multiplexer can be further reduced by 1. So you can just go with 2 power n minus 1 ratio 1 multiplexer. Okay. So your answer is option C. Now if you have solved one or two such questions of implementing an n variable boolean function using 2 power n minus 1 mux, then you know how these things works. But if you haven't, then I'll show you. Even though most of you can just do it by yourself. Still, I'll show it. First of all, let's implement any Boolean function using the multiplexer of same size. That means, let us assume the function is dependent on three variables. And first we will implement it using two power three mux. That means this only. In this case, no additional hardware will be required. That means only mux is sufficient. So you can take any function. I'm writing a function at random. It is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, anything. Now you can see. Okay. Let us make it 0. You can see we want to implement it using this multiplexer. Nothing has to be done just copy these outputs as it is in input of the mux. So this is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, triple 0. That's it. The function is implemented. You can see, see, you can verify it for any input. See on 0, 1, 1, that is on 3, the output must be 1. Okay. So 0, 1, 1 this multiplexer will select its third input as the output and third input as one. Okay. Similarly for seven, that is all ones, all ones we have connected zero. So zero will be the output. That is what was required. Okay. So this function is implemented. Now let's try to reduce the size of this mux. That means now we want to go with four ratio one mux. This was a eight ratio one. Okay. You can see I've drawn a 4 ratio 1 mux here. To implement this function using 4 ratio 1 mux, you will also require this inverter gate. Okay. Let us see how will it be done. So two of the variables, I'm choosing them as select line. Earlier, all three variables were the select line. Now only these two variables are select line. Whenever the value of a and b is 0, 0. In that case, multiplexer will select this input as the output. That means whatever is connected here will be given as the output. Okay, you can see whenever a and b are 0, 0, in both of these cases, the output needs to be 1. Okay, so you can simply connect 1 here. Whenever value of a and b is 0, 1, the output is c. c. 0, 0, 1, 1. That means whatever is c is the output. So you can simply connect C here. Okay. In next case, when the value of A and B is 1, 0. So the value is 1, 0. Mux will select this input as output. Whatever is connected here, that will be the output. We want our output to be complement of C. C. In case 1, 0, A and B is 1, 0. If C is 0, output is 1. If C is 1, output is 0. That means output is complement of C in this case. So you just connect C complement here. And in last case, when both A and B are 1, 
the output is always zero. That means it is independent of C in this case. So simply connect zero here. This is the implementation of this function using one mux and not gate. Where is the not gate used? It is used to complement C. You can have a look. This will be actually implemented like this. So this is the input C, this is A, this is B. To invert C, one NOT gate is used and this is connected as it is. So this one is C only, okay. So you have seen how can we implement a N variable function using two power N minus one multiplexer, okay. But in this case, a inverter is needed, okay. Now you can even go with two raised to the power N minus two multiplexer. But then you will need additional gates. Only NOT gate won't do the job, okay. This option D could have been our answer if additional gates like AND gate and OR gate were available, okay. But they haven't mentioned anything about AND gates and OR gates. So this is rejected, okay. And this one is also rejected. This is just to confuse you.